I knew I wanted to become a midwife after the birth of my first son. I was living in the San Francisco Bay Area at the time, and after I became pregnant, I wasn't sure how I wanted to have my baby, and I discovered what midwives were through a local doula, and after the birth of my son, it was empowering and beautiful, and I just knew that's what I wanted to do. What I enjoy most about women's medicine is the opportunity to take care of women throughout their entire lifespan. I love spending time with teenagers and engaging them and discussing um, sexual health and birth control, for example. I love taking care of moms as they become pregnant and deliver their babies and older women as we all start to go through menopause and um, experience those life changes as well across the spectrum the um, series of events that happen to women. I, I love being a part of all of those. The most challenging aspect of my job uh, involves the birthing aspect, I think, in the sense that birth is never a formula, labor is never a formula. It's very unpredictable. Uh, it's also one of the most beautiful components of my job, but it's very challenging in that you never uh, can predict what's going to happen for a labor and delivery. It's always a bit of a mystery and it's quite quite lovely, but as a provider that can be challenging at times. My most memorable patient encounter, I was working with women, delivering women at home, and I had a woman who was getting ready to deliver. She was already 10 centimeters, it was time for her to push. It was about 5.30 in the morning and her toddler woke up right at the time she was ready to push her baby out and she was quite ready. And as soon as she heard her toddler, she stopped everything she was doing, including pushing, and she got her toddler ready for daycare, stopped everything, <laughs> just went about her business, got him out the door, and as soon as he was out the door, came back in and had her baby. So I will never forget that because it was an incredibly beautiful and dramatic way of demonstrating to me that women and birth is so powerful and again that we have control and, and sometimes we don't have control but just that there's a wide range of possibility within it. I would describe myself in three words as being a good listener and being patient and being passionate about what I do. In my spare time, I enjoy being with my husband and my two boys. We love to be outside and are thrilled to be in California again for that reason. We love to hike and camp, and I love to cook. I think this practice is very progressive and that they are hiring midwives and looking to grow that component of their OBGYN practice to offer women other options and more choices in how they birth and how they deliver and, and what kind of care they receive.